what's up guys i am here at the mega market which is like a large supermarket grocery store here in playa del Carmen, or playa del carmen and i wanted to show you guys kind of what they have so you got your bananas for about a, a dollar a kilo a kilo is 2.2 gram 2.2 pounds various fruits and your eggs let's see what it a dozen eggs for 250 these look like Kind of fancy eggs though. Not your standard low class eggs. Bag of spinach for three dollars or three twenty-five. Yeah, it looks like pretty standard stuff here. Limes, lemons, and the aguacate or avocado. So they're charging five dollars for a kilo. Let's see how many, how many. How many avocados? Kilos. And how many do we have? Six. 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 How many avocados are in a kilo? Two, four, six. Six? Six. Okay, that's it. So it looks like six avocados and one kilogram. Uh, so you're getting five dollars for six avocados. Really? Kind of expensive. I would think it'd be a little bit cheaper, but not the case. What is this? Chile poblano. Two dollars or two fifty per kilo. By the way, I don't know how this mask looks. I. It's okay, I guess. I, I had to purchase this crappy little mask for 10 pesos. I don't know what happened to mine. I had it in my pocket, but it must have fallen out. Oh well. Well, here's a section that you might be interested in. The beer section. Uh, let's see. So they got a six pack of Corona for four dollars. A twelve pack of Modelo Negra for nine dollars. This beer is pretty good. This Superior. That's not bad beer. I like that. I've never had this one, Carta Clara. Looks like it's three dollars and fifty cents for a six pack. But it looks like they have some pretty decent selection here. I think because we're at like the the big mega market, so you're gonna get a little bit more in terms of your your choices and. I mean, theoretically, the prices would be lower, um, but so far it looks pretty much equal or igual. All right, so 2.5 liter, which is interesting because I think standards a two liter that's one of the only things we measure in liters by the way in america 
is a two liter bottle of Coke. But yeah, your 2.5 liter of Pepsi is about a dollar sixty. And a Dos Equis tall one, those are usually 20 pesos, so here it's 19.30. So yeah, maybe you are getting a slight discount here for shopping at the the big supermarket. Well, depends, because I it was 180 at the at the OXO for the 12 pack of India. So maybe it's just all dependent on which items you're getting. Uh, they got like a wine section here. Various wines from different places. The United States, Spain, Italy. And then also your bottles of liquor. So let's show you what like one bottle of Smirnoff. So, 248. That's going to be $12. Guess that's pretty good. Oh, so this Arechera I learned the other day. So it's like a skirt steak, so that's what you can make, like carne asada and stuff. I also learned that beef is de res. These chicharrones are like little fried pork rinds. They're good. It's a nice little snack before you eat some tacos. Let's see here, we got some chicken breast. Filete pechuga pollo bachoco for 128 pesos. And that is, oh wait, that's per kilogram. So 2.2 pounds of chicken breast for Chicken livers. I know who likes chicken livers. World's best dog. Ooh, some nuggets. Oh, that's dank. They already got the nuggets out there. Okay, so this is pork. And what are we what are we looking at in terms of pork? Pierna, I think it's feet. So 108 per kilo of that. Here's like regular pork chops. And that is 111 per kilo, so 2.2 pounds will cost you about 550. Here's ground pork. That's something that you'll see very commonly in Vietnam. People eat that. So what is that? 111 per kilo, like six dollars per kilo. Wow, that's going to be much cheaper in Vietnam. Ground beef is significantly more expensive, it looks like. 219 pesos, so like... $11 for 2.2 pounds, and then, of course, you divide that, so you're paying about 4 or $5 a pound for some ground beef. I'm not like a butcher, so I don't know what all this stuff is. Uh, 
But it's just various cuts of beef right here. de res but looks pretty nice and tender that's again like five dollars a pound oh got some fish here basa fish for four dollars a kilo or about two dollars two dollars a pound salmon is $20 a kilo, so about $9 a pound for salmon. Shrimp. $10, there's lots of different kinds of shrimp, but these ones are with no head, so sin cabeza, and that is about $10 a pound, or Ten dollars a kilo, so like five dollars a pound. Lots of other fish. So this is like a their deli. You get your hot dogs and sausages, ham. It's like all this is about five dollars a kilo, so maybe like two dollars a pound. It looks mostly just like ham. Oh, these ones are significantly more expensive. Probably better quality. Like $25 a kilo though, so $10 a pound, $11 a pound. Cheeses. One thing that's really expensive in Vietnam is cheese. So here it looks like it's about, it looks cheaper here. Like, $8 a kilo. But yeah, let's go see if we can find like, things I came looking for. Also try to get a couple snacks though for the Airbnb. I would get some like legit meals to cook, but it's just not the best setup for cooking and I think the whole cleaning process would be kind of a chore. I mean it's always a chore to clean, but it's just like I'd have to clean the dishes in the bathroom I think and yeah, just not feeling it. The food, the cooked food here is already such a good price that I don't feel like I really need to bother with cooking myself. Senor, do you know where is the like this for the pharmacy? The pharmacy? Okay, thank you. 
I don't know how to say ears. I don't know how to say Q-tips. But he told me that Q-tips are over by the pharmacy. So we're going that way. Yeah, uh, you can get like toys and everything here. Fans. It's almost like a Walmart. I think they do have a Walmart here too. But. Hair gels. Women's products. Oh yeah, wanted to get some razors too, didn't I? That'll be fine there. And then maybe a little tiny shaving cream. Let me get my bag out too. I brought a bag. Brought a bag, but somehow it didn't bring a mask. Oh yeah, here's my, my OXO bag. So I'll put this in here. And in terms of shaving cream, I don't need like a $7 thing of shaving cream. I'm gonna go with this one and just assume it's gonna be the cheapest option. We'll see how much it ends up actually being. Uh, I say I say so mas baratos? ¿Cuánto? 62. 62. Igual. Igual. Sí. Ok. ¿Y tienen like, un, una botella más pequeña, más barata? Solo necesito un poquito de crema. No. Ok, está bien. Gracias. This one's cheaper. Alright. Let's find some we will need deodorant. Might as well just get it now. All right, we just got this deodorant, Active Garnier, for a dollar fifty. That'll do. I do need some Q-tips though. Looks like they're here. So we got our stuff. Should I try to look for a snack, maybe? 
Yeah, we'll do it. So they've got legit like appliances here. So if you needed to buy a refrigerator in Mexico, it would cost you 14,500 pesos. So 2,000 pesos, $100, $725. But then the prices go up too. Like this one looks nicer, I guess. And it's about twice the price, so $1,500. But it's got the cool like water and ice maker. But yeah, if you need a, a microwave, these like $200 microwaves. That's expensive for a microwave. Toaster oven for 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, you can get pretty much everything here it looks like. Even your auto care products. These are, these little trees. Shout out to anyone who has little trees in their car. I know what you're up to. <laughs> All right. Let's try to find something that is basically microwavable, that's hot, that I can just eat when I'm really hungry and don't want to go out. All right, we're going to get this two pack of pepperoni. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. <laughs> All right. And that'll be all for now. If we need something else, we'll come back and get it. So let's go purchase our things and then let's go find some, some good food somewhere. I got everything here. You can come get clothes and stuff here. I had a hard time finding clothes in Vietnam, but I feel like I could find clothes in Mexico because there's some personas grandes. Yeah, look, these are 46, 32. Those would be too big on me. Hay personas muy grandes aquí. Very big people here. Oh, okay. So over there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got everything we needed right there for 290 pesos. So that was about $14.50. And now we get to walk out and walk back to our humble, our humble abode in Playa del Carmen. But on the way back, I'm going to get some food because I'm really hungry. I'll make a different video about that. Hopefully I can find some really tasty stuff. I'm sure I'll be able to, it's pretty easy. No, thank you. No, gracias. No, gracias. Oh, good. So that is the Mega Soriana. Mega Soriana. Oh. Alright. 
Well, that's going to be it. Thanks for hanging out with me for a while. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.